What's up guys? New glove here to review. So let's get into it. As you guys can see, this is not your typical uh, glove review. This is not a Rawlings, as you can obviously see. This is going to be a different glove. These, This is a Pro Gal made in Mexico by Gallegos, as you can see right there. Gallegos, I, this is the first time I see this brand as well. Pro Gal right there. But I feel like it's very similar to a uh rolling barasa that i might have uploaded before and you guys have probably heard from them but um but yeah this one does have a cool backstory that i'll kind of go into as i'm giving you guys the close-up and review of it but yeah um i got this glove during one of my baseball games actually um the cool thing was you know i've been playing baseball now i had took a four-year you know break uh it was just very time consuming you know, for me, especially I like to show up in early before the game, stretch, warm up, things like that, mentally prepare. And then, you know, even after the game, I'm staying with me, talking to my friends and, and, bo and the boys and things like that. So it's a five to six hour event. So just very time consuming. So I mostly stuck with so uh, co-ed softball and things like that. Um, but, you know, I finally got convinced to come back and, and I did. And I've been playing a lot of first base and I didn't really have a mitt. I went with the Rawlings gold glove elite first base mitt that i was using at practice breaking it in and it just wasn't you know the the, the quality that i expected the the leather quality it just wasn't there and i didn't feel like spending you know upwards of 200 dollars for a heart of the hide or a pro preferred first base mitt since i didn't really know my feature at first base um so i was meet during that time during the season i was kind of using my my, the, my coaches first basement which was fine broken in already it was a, i think it was like a steer height grade so that was fine but during one of our games um i happened to see a vendor who normally passed by with you know he sells pro bats anywhere from pro bats batting gloves from mexico and these baseball gloves from mexico and the cool thing was before i bought this glove from him the night prior i was actually looking on ebay and, and um amazon and you know, I was looking for a certain pattern. I wanted the DCT first base pattern, or you guys are familiar with that. Um, and, uh, you know, I was looking towards, you know, Heart of the Hide or Pro Preferred, and those are going to be at least $250 minimum, upwards to 350 So I was like, all right, you know, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll get it next week. Come baseball game, come game time, the dude shows up, and he shows up with this. You know, it's exactly the pattern that I wanted. If you guys are familiar with the DCT pattern, it's exactly the same pattern as you can see right here. Almost identical. The only difference I noticed was, um, which is actually a plus on this side, um, for some reason on the laces here, it's a little bit different. Um, I noticed because I had a DCT pattern before and the lacing here was a little bit different. I want to say this one's going to be able to stretch a little more than the, the Rawling style, but nonetheless, it was a size that I wanted. I didn't want a tall and a half or a tall 75. It had to be a 13 inch for baseball. And yeah, and the color scheme also matched. You know, we use the 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 Toronto Blue Jays color scheme. And you guys know they have a hits of red on their unis. So it just fit. And the price too. You know, this is steer height quality. Typically goes upwards of $200. And he had it for $130. Um, I actually got it cheaper than that because I got a bundle deal off him, which I'll show you guys right now. I, I actually bought some legit Mexican baseball gloves from him, which are real leather. Um, and I ended up getting it all, which he sold those for about 30 each, the baseball gloves. I ended up getting this plus the 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 baseball gloves, batting gloves, sorry, for 120 total. So I thought I got a great deal. These are going to be from, I think the brand is Lugari. Never heard of it either, but, you know, the cool thing about these is that that legit cowhide leather that you're going to see. Not that cheap, you know, flimsy synthetic leather. It does have hits of Lycra here, which is going to be that mesh, but that's fine. You know, I don't need it to be all leather because it's going to be uh, pretty, you know, hot to take out and sweaty. So that's why they use it. But yeah, legit leather um i wish i bought another pair from him because i you know typically for me batting gloves tend to rip in the palm area maybe because i have big hands i usually get size xl or 2xl 
So I actually got these being 3XL. So hopefully they, they last. I've been saving these so I can review them um, brand new on this video. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. I ended up getting the guy, the, the, the seller's contact information so I can get more gloves down the line. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, just thought I'd show you guys these. There's the lining in there, pretty nice with the red. Uh, it is gonna be that cowhide material. I can just smell it. It smells like those, you know, saddles from the horse saddles. But, but yeah, let me know what you guys think as always. And more videos coming soon. Comment and subscribe.